No, Christmas hasn't come early this year, but have you ever wondered about how that wrapping paper is made? Christmas wouldn't be the same without the brightly coloured gift wrap, and the first step in making this mass-produced festive paper starts in the design studio. Traditionally, Christmas wrapping paper includes plenty of green to remind us of Christmas trees, red for Santa's outfit, and gold for the expensive presents wrapped inside. Once the designer is satisfied with her image, it's passed on to the graphics department. Their job is to make up the print image that will appear over and over on the wrapping paper. Each design is broken down into its separate colours so the printers can prepare the right shades of each paint. Each colour has its own roller. This machine engraves the template for each colour onto these copper cylinders using a diamond-tipped hammer. 4,000 holes are made every second. When the roller is complete, the examiner pulls out his microscope to check the template thoroughly. He needs to make sure the rollers have enough detail to print the colour they are assigned to. Otherwise, another engraving will have to be made again from scratch which would be very expensive. Now copper isn't a very strong metal, so next the rollers are bathed in a bath of liquid chromium. This process, called galvanization, will ensure the detail on the roller remains robust. That way it won't wear out as it's used over and over again to print all that wrapping paper. The next stage of the job is to start printing. This 30 meter long printing press will turn one enormous roll of recycled paper into hundreds of meters of Christmas wrapping paper. The paper used is the same as they would use to print magazines or even your daily newspaper. A quick quality control check is made before the print run starts. Gold will form the background color for this print so it's applied first. Bucket after bucket will be added to the feeder vat, which sends the paint up to be used on the first roller. The clean white paper is moved into place and the first background appears as if by magic. What appears does look a little unusual, but you can't make out the gaps for the other colours. The freshly printed golden white paper connects up to the yellow roller. Red follows. And blue comes next. But why blue? Well, it's used because when combined with yellow, you get green for the Christmas trees. Only once the engineers are completely happy with the background colors do they add black. This helps define the final picture. Much like the office photocopier, even these professional printing presses can sometimes jam. It's a fiddly job, but the engineers have to feed the paper through the system to catch up with the last good bit. Incredibly, when problems occur with this complex machine, there is a surprisingly simple fix. A piece of sellotape. To ensure that there are no unwanted alignment problems, this camera takes digital pictures throughout each print run. A worker using a computer can continually check to make sure the colours are all in the right place. When all the colours have been applied, you end up with a staggering 9.5 kilometres of wrapping paper. Now, a roll that big would be a little hard to get home from the shops, so the next stage is to cut it down into more manageable sizes. Two meters is normal. That's just enough to wrap three and a half average sized presents, typically leaving a big unusual shaped bit that won't wrap anything. Once it's cut, it's then wrapped up in cellophane rolls, which are passed through miniature heaters. And finally, the rolls are sent on to the packing department. 3,600 rolls can be produced every hour by this machine. More than enough for a very good Christmas. Have you ever noticed how a box of Christmas paper rolls at the store always has a wide variety of different designs inside? 
This machine is designed to select two or three rolls from each of the different designs the company has produced that year and put them together with other prints. They'll then be boxed up ready for the stores, so when you get there, you've got a wide variety to choose from. So when Christmas rolls around, now you'll know what went into the wrapping paper as well as the gift.